Hi, welcome back to Out of the Box Creative Makeup. To see how I block my eyebrows, check out my last video, Etched in Stone, where I do an in-depth tutorial on blocking your brows. So I blocked my eyebrows, have my wig cap on. The next step I'm going to show you, I do before I put any type of foundation or concealer on my face because, number one, of having hooded eyelids, as soon as I lift myself to make myself look a little bit more feminine and younger, you can see the difference in the eyelid as soon as it changes. So I like to do this next step before I put any of my primer or anything on my face just to make sure my skin is in the right shape. Now, the more expensive product and a little bit more of the delicate portion is you can use face tape, face lip tape. Um, Alcone has a really good um, one that I find it works really well. You place them basically is like tape, tape here in different places to help to pull things back, make them look a little bit younger. And it comes with a pulley system um, that you put behind your head. And of course, if you're a female, then of course that can go under your hairline. If you're doing drag, obviously it'll go under the wig so you won't see it. But I'm gonna be using the tried and true duct tape version. Um, this is obviously a nude color duct tape, um, just to kind of helps. It's just an extra layer of, of detail there. Um, got this off of Amazon, it comes in different colors. Um, they're being a little bit more sensitive to that part, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, just duct tape itself. So you cut into three different pieces. The first piece needs to be a, a pretty long piece, um, which is going to go around the circumference of your head, starting in the middle and then working its way to the back. So I'm gonna apply that and just slightly above my hairline, going just above my ears and around. Now, I do recommend not making it like crazy tight just because blood circulation, <laughs> right? Um, but you just want something just is going to make it as, um, it's just kind of snugging and hugging your head, but it's nothing that's going to be crazy. Um, I will, you know, once again, if you notice that I glued down this portion here and here because um, when I've done it in the past, I didn't do that. Um, and my, the tape, as soon as I started pulling, started ripping my hair out, and it was very uncomfortable. But this is pretty secure on top of my wig cap and will not move. Now, the next pieces are going to be um, slightly, a little bit, obviously a little bit less length. Um, and these are the tapes that go, we're gonna go slightly above the ear because I, when I like to pull, I like to pull up, which helps with this, for this area up here with the hooded eyes. Um, but they're going to be coming around and they're going to connect in the middle of the top. So when I do this, I also, yes, you can rip duct, duct, tape, duct tape with your hand, um, but I like to use scissors so then it gives itself a little bit more of a cleaner edge. So I'm going to apply these just slightly above. I do want to make sure that I get a good amount of skin contact here and then making sure that it touches the tape itself. Nice there. Making sure the adhesive is worked in and bonded. All right, to the other side. Same thing, same direction. There you go. Kind of like a dog. <laughs> All right. Hopefully my makeup doesn't look like a dog after. Okay. And once I feel pretty secure about this stain because obviously it's going to go underneath the foundation. It's going to go, I want to make sure that I, very cautious of that. Now, as you can see the difference, as soon as it starts to pull, it's pretty awesome. So once I get it to part where I want it, I just layer over on top. Okay. Notice how all this face up here is nice and tight. Firm, so this allows me to be able to, because I have a pretty strong forehead crease here that gives me a lot of trouble, um, you know, because it breaks apart when I'm doing a lot of my creative makeup. So I like to make sure this is super tight. Do this as well. Okay. If you enjoyed this makeup tutorial, please hit like and subscribe, and we'll have more content coming to you very soon. Bye.